Uh, Septoria brown spot it usually always stays in the lower canopy. But again, it depends on the variety for that. But in general, almost every variety, you're going to see some level of brown spot, Septoria brown spot, in the lower canopy. And that's characterized um, by small lesions that then can coalesce into uh, larger brown lesions, usually some yellow discoloration. And so Septoria brown spot can be easily confused with uh, soybean rust. Uh, it looks almost identical to those who haven't seen a lot of soybean rust or been trained. Uh, would really even, for a trained eye, you need a hand lens or even a dissecting microscope. Um, but because, uh, because of that, what we do is every year, the plant pathologists at universities, at land grant universities, we track soybean rust. And we have um, a website, uh, sbrusa.net, that every year, any point in time in the year, you can go to that website. There's a map of the United States, and on county level, you can see colored counties, either green, where we've checked for soybean rust and not found it, or red, where we've checked for it and we've found it. And that way, when you are not quite sure is this septoria brown, septoria brown spot or soybean rust, you can go onto that website and say, well, gosh, soybean rust isn't anywhere out of uh, the Gulf of Mexico states. It's still just right on the edge of Gulf of Mexico. Then you can be sure that this is going to be septoria brown spot. And really, probably nine times out of 10, if not more, it's always going to be septoria brown spot. Soybean rust in Tennessee uh, is rare to come in any time really before October. It can come in, in in September on occasion, but really we haven't seen it come in uh, earlier than that. And so with that, it, it usually is uh, not going to cause any yield loss.